just a real quick magnetization video on how you keep all your options to make your plastic Crix Desecrator Leviathan Hero or Model uh, available to be all three jacks. Um, instructions are on the back. I don't really like the War Machine instructions. They're usually pretty vague, um, if they have them at all. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, the first thing you do is just build the model up. Uh, everything except the arms, basically. I uh, end up looking like this. Now you could, it comes with two options for this and three options for the head. Uh, you could magnetize the carapace and the heads. Uh, I did not uh, feel that interested in that. Um, but uh, probably, I don't know, one thirty-second size magnets for this and same for the head. Uh, but what I did is I built it up to this point, built the shoulder pads, and then I took a 3 16th by 1 32nd magnet, so 3 16th diameter, 1 32nd uh, height, uh, put a couple drops of CA glue in there, put it in there, positioned it the way I wanted it with a toothpick, and then I let it dry absolutely completely, um, you know, 10, 10 minutes probably is overkill. Uh, then I came back and I did the same thing on this side. Uh, and that way they would be completely dry and when I was doing test fitting I wouldn't have to worry about them popping back out. But it also meant I could test the magnets to make sure that I hadn't flipped them. Or uh, so that I, not that I didn't flip them, but that I kept the, uh, knew the orientation. Oh boy, that was a tongue twister. Uh, next thing I did is I came through with the arms. Uh, I dry fit the balls and then just snipped them. I glued on a 3 16th by 1 32nd magnet uh, and then that's really it. I did that for each of them and uh, now you just put them in there. Now the one thing that I did I would redo, I would do differently is some of these heavier arms, uh, this one particularly, uh, the uh, 1 32nd height magnets were not quite strong enough to keep them stable so they would they would just flop around when you moved the model so if I turned the model the arm would swing uh, so I glued a second one on top so probably the easier thing to do would just be a 3 16 by 1 16 magnet uh, to start with but uh, once you have them all in there you can position it however you like um, let me find the right arm I think this is the right arm for that uh, so uh, all, the guns are all on one side. Now I flipped the magnet so that the guns only went on the the one, uh, you know, the models left, my right side, and the close combat weapons only went on the models right, my left uh, side. Uh, but you could make it uh, if you kept the uh, magnets, uh, these two magnets flipped the same way, you could make them so you could flip them left and right too if you wanted for more options. Um, but that is really it. Uh, once you've done that, you can just snap these in. Uh, and, uh, you, can, you can even mix and match weapons. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but that is very simple, fast magnetization of uh, a Crix uh, Helljack.